Hi guys, it's Brandon. Today we're going to be talking about triad, construction, and uh, identifying. So let's first talk about our basic major triad. So there's two ways we can look at this. We can either look at a major triad as stacked in thirds, or talk about the third and the fifth. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to be talking about the third and the fifth. So let's start right here. The important thing we always want to make sure is when we're building triads is that we start with the major triad. So we're starting here in the key of A. Our root here is A, so we want to make sure we have a major third. So right now we have a minor third, so we want to make sure we sharp this, turn it into major. Now we can see here that we have a major third. And now we look at the fifth for this, we want to make sure we have a perfect fifth. Now when we're thinking of perfect fifth, we want to make sure that in the key of A major, we think of the fifth scale degree, which would be E. We want to make sure that checks with that. One, two, three, four, five, fifth above. In A major, E would be natural. So right here, we have a perfect fifth and a major third. Now, what that means, we have the perfect fifth, major third. This is going to be a major triad. We would label it from the root. The root's A, so we have an A major triad. From there, I like going to the minor. The difference between the major and the minor is that instead of a major third, we have a minor third. So we go to this one here. We want to make sure it's a minor third. Again, we determine the major third is C sharp, so minor third is going to be a half step lower, so it's going to be C natural. Looking at this, we already have A to C natural. We're going to pretend like there's bar lines in between each of these. So we have C natural. That's a minor third, and then we will keep the perfect fifth. So since the perfect fifth above A was E, here it's also going to be E. So we already have the perfect fifth. So we don't need to add any accidentals here. Now labeling it, again, we put the root. And then for this, we put the quality with a little line over top like that. This is going to be the A minor triad. Now going down from minor, we have a diminished triad. Now the diminished triad, what it's shared in common with the minor is it has that first minor third. So again, we have A to C, thinking of the key of A. C would be sharp, which would be major third. So to make it minor, we bring it down a half step, down to that C natural, so we have our minor third. Now the difference here between the minor and diminished is the diminished you can incorporate the diminished fifth. Now, we don't go perfect to minor fifths because minor fifths and major fifths don't exist. When we make a perfect a half step lower, it becomes diminished. So right now, I have A to E, which is a perfect fifth, to make it into a minor, or sorry, a diminished fifth, we're going to have to put a flat to bring it down a half step. Now we have a diminished fifth. Now again, with labeling, we use the root. Our root here is A. And then the only thing we have to add now is the diminished symbol. And that's going to be a diminished triad. Now going to the other side of the board, I left this one alone. That's because I like talking about this one last. This is the augmented triad. It's very similar, again, to the major with one slight change. The first thing we want here is a major third. So we do that. Right now we ask ourselves, I have an A to a C. C in the key of A should be sharp. So right now I have a minor third. To get it major, I need to make sure I have C sharp. And that would give me my major third. Now, the fifth in an augmented triad is augmented. So when we have a perfect fifth, to get the augmented, we have to raise it a half step. And that's, again, because there's no minor or major fifths. They're only perfect. So right now, we try to ask ourselves, we have A to E. What well, In the key of A, E is natural. So we have a perfect fifth. To make it augmented, I raise it. That becomes G sharp. And thus, we have an augmented fifth. Now that labeling would be A, which again is the root. And then we just draw our augmented symbol. And that is the differences between the three, four different triads and then how to label them with lead sheets.